Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances, also known AKA Sassy Mingo. That is my YouTube handle and also my Instagram handle. Um, we are here today with America's Thrift Supply Mystery Handbag Box. Um, but before we get into that, I got a few little few little things to talk about. I got a box that I received from a friend of mine on YouTube, Brighton, Brighten Your Day. If you're not familiar with him, please follow him. He has great jewelry. Oh my goodness. His jewelry is amazing. And I ordered some jewelry for myself, not to resell, but it came today along with the America's Thrift Supply Box. So I thought I would open it and show y'all what I ordered. Um, but before that, I just want to say welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, if you're an OG, <laughs> thanks for coming back. I, um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I am a full-time reseller. I resell on many platforms that are listed below in my description. Um, I sell right here from YouTube as I unbox things. Um, I'll give you a price. My subscribers get the best price. Some of these purses I've never heard of. I just wing it. And after the video, I get all these things like, oh my God, that's a $500 purse and you're selling it for $50. Well, that is your luck. And that's why I do this for my subscribers. Um, I like to give y'all the good deals. Um, you know, I can't keep all these purses, obviously, and it saves me from having to photograph it, list it, share my listing on the multiple platforms that I sell. So if I can sell it right here from YouTube and give y'all a great deal, then that's what I like to do. Shipping is, um, you know, based on the item and your address. I give you the best shipping that I can find. Um, I invoice through PayPal. I will take Venmo. Um, I, the way that you would order or purchase an item is you will email me. I will have my email in the description below and also my email will be pinned in the top comment. Under my email in the top comment will be a sold list. If it's sold, if it has been paid for and I am in the process of shipping it or getting it packed up, it's going to be in the sold list. If it's under pending, I do put a pending list. If I have items pending, um, I give you 24 hours to pay your invoice if you don't pay within 24 hours and someone else wants that item, um, I'm going to cancel your invoice and offer it to the second person. So if you see something impending, go ahead and email me. There is a chance that, you know, you, you might get it. Um, before we get into anything else today, I just want to share some news with y'all. I have been entered into a contest and it's called Fab Over 40. Um, some of you I might have reached out personally and asked for a vote. Um, I'm going to put the link below um, if YouTube allows me. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you want to vote for me, it's a contest purely based on votes. Yesterday, I was in, I was second in my group. Now, it's five over 40, which most of y'all know that I'm closer to 60, but I think they have different groups, and um, I'm not really sure how all the, so anyway, the first 10 days, I'm in the running. So, yesterday, I started off first. The first, when, it, when voting opened up, so half of the day yesterday, I was in first place. Then last night, I was in second place. And now, midday today, I'm in third place. You get a free vote every day. Um, they want you to vote every day. And then, of course, part the big part of this whole thing is to raise money and awareness for breast cancer. Um, there is below your free vote, there's options to buy votes. I'm not asking anybody, anybody to buy a vote. You know, it is what it is. If I end up tomorrow being at the bottom of the list, well, you know, that's what it is. I just feel privileged that I was selected to do this. Um, so I would appreciate your vote. Um, send me a message and let me know if you voted, you know, leave it in the comment. Um, you know, it would be great if I won, but I doubt it. When they sent me that email saying that I was, I was picked as a contestant, it's like, what? This is, I, I'm being, I'm being, um, I'm being joked here. But anyway, that's enough of that. I would appreciate the vote though. 
um, I'd like to be back in first place. You know, I have that little bit of competitive edge to me. <laughs> so anyway, first of all, I want to show you my necklace. My necklace that I'm wearing is for sale. Now, a couple videos back, I had a big shell necklace, big abalone shell necklace with the leather tassels, leather fringe coming off of it. Oh, it was such a beautiful necklace. And I knew it wouldn't last and it didn't. Everybody, I, everybody that reached out wanted that necklace. Um, you know, and fortunate, the first person that reached out got it. I have this one, which is a mini down version. You don't have any tassels or fringe or anything like that. But we do have this really pretty shell. It's not abalone. And you can actually wear this necklace either way. This side shows a little bit more brown. And then the white, like mother, maybe this is mother of pearl. I don't know. Then you have all these beautiful glass beads all the way up to the hook. I believe this is artisan made. There is not a maker on this. Based on the way it's made, I do believe that it was, you know, it was handmade, artisan made, handcrafted, whatever you want to say. I'm offering this necklace up today for $15. Um, I'll take it off so you can, um, I'll take it off. And it has a lobster claw, lobster clasp. There we go. So you can see maybe some of the um, the beads better. You have all these glass beads. They are so beautiful. That's acrylic. You have glass, you have acrylic, you have all kind. You just have an array of beads. But this this is the, the way I had it on, or you could wear it like that. I almost think I like it better like that. I don't know, up against my black shirt, I felt like you couldn't see it as well. So anyway, I'm gonna ask $15 for this necklace. This necklace is about an 18 to 20 inch. There is not an extender. This is your clasp. The class shows a little bit of wear, of course, because that's the that's the main part that's you know touched because you're clasping it and unclasping it. So anyway, I'm gonna ask fifteen dollars for this necklace. If you want this necklace, just email me um, shell necklace. Um, I'm gonna try to be better with my descriptions on what how I want you to describe the item, just so there's no. Um, misunderstanding. I'm also offering these earrings up today. The earrings are um, another shell. I believe it's mother of pearl. There's a, you know, they're hollow. They're, there's a hole in the middle. They're dangled. They're fish hook earrings. They're very lightweight. They go awesome with that necklace. That's why I chose these. And these will be $5, $5 for the earrings. Um, and that's what they look like up close. You can see that that mother of pearl glow. Oh, I just love, I love shells. I love the beach. So these will be $5. I will sanitize them. Um, I'll wipe them down and have them in a little gift bag for you if you want to purchase those today. So that, that's all I have for sale as far as that. Now, um, I want to open my box from Bright. So, um, I ordered a few pieces. I ordered, I believe everything was J. Crew that I ordered. If you don't know, I, I'm a J. Crew hoarder. <laughs> Not hoarder. I, um, I love J. Crew. I love the vintage J. Crew. You know, the big blingy necklaces, the blingy earrings, the blingy bracelets. Um, and I've come to find out here recently that there's a lot of collectible. I love this paper Brighton, if you're watching. Um, there's, there is some very nice collectible pieces that, you know, go for a good bit of money. Um, well, here we go. He's got this packaged well, y'all. So this is what it looks like. I forget how many pieces I bought. Nice box, I will reuse. If you're a reseller, you know, getting boxes and paper and tissue and things that you can reuse are amazing. So we got a little note and it says, thank you. It says, thank you. When you support a small business, you're supporting a dream. Your purchase made my day. I hope this package brightens your, yours. I really appreciate your support. 
How cute. How cute. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, and five. So we'll save this one for last. Let's open this one. I think this might be the bracelet. I know there was a bracelet. Oh, I think this is the bracelet, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm even excited to get these. I've ran out of these little bags. And when I do my jewelry bags, speaking of, I didn't, I forgot to mention that I, if you're new here, you're, you're, you're not familiar, but I, off, I sell jewelry bags. My jewelry bags are, you know, a, a bag full of mixed jewelry. It's all wearable jewelry. It, some will be, some will have maker's marks. Some will be new on the card. It's just a mixture. I don't guarantee some of everything in every bag, but I go through the jewelry. I make sure there's no broken bits and bobs and all that kind of stuff. It's, everything is individually packaged. I usually package them in these. Um, sometimes I'll put a couple of pair of earrings in one of these just to, just to save bags because I've been going through the bags. Um, it'll be necklace, bracelets, earrings, maybe some rings. I get rings every now and then, maybe some pendants, maybe some brooches, um, maybe a watch or two. Um, everything is in wearable condition, resellable condition, whatever. Um, you know, it's a lot of, um... It's just, a, it's just a mixture. I charge $25 for the bag. Shipping is, is $10 um, right now. Shipping, I've heard, is going up. Um, I haven't noticed it yet on my packages, but um, so for the jewelry bag, I will charge $10 shipping. So that's $25 for the bag and then $10 shipping. So that's $35. Um, I have one bag available. I have enough jewelry. I fulfilled all my previous previous orders and I have enough for one more bag. So if anybody would like that jewelry bag, just email me jewelry bag. Another little tidbit I like to say here, especially if you're new watching, if you while you're watching this video, if you see something that you want, but you want to you you want to continue shopping to the end, go ahead and email me when you see if you see something in the beginning that you want and just say, "Hey, I want that necklace, that shell necklace you were wearing, but I'm still watching. That way I know that you're still shopping and I won't go ahead and invoice you, okay? So let's, oh my Lanta. Y'all, look at her. Is she not gorgeous? Oh, I hope this fits me. Oh, it does. It has the biggest senorita clasp I have ever seen in my life. Some people call this the Life Preserver light Clamp. Um, I it's also it's called Life Preserver. It's called Senorita. I call them Senoritas. Um, I just like that word. Um, there's your J Crew label, y'all. When he showed this, I had to have it. I don't even remember what I paid for it. Look at that. That. That is a statement. That is a party on my arm right here. And I'm going to try to latch it. Oh, yeah, that's easy to latch. Okay, so I'm going to wear her. I have my other gold stack on. I love gold tone jewelry. I just love it. I went through a silver stage, silver phase for a while. But I'm holding steady and strong with my gold tone. And it don't have to be real. It does not have to be real to make me happy. This bracelet right here is not making me happy all day long. This is a 14 karat gold bracelet that I found in a jewelry bag. Y'all, I'm telling you, don't, if you buy jewelry bags from Goodwill or your thrift store or whatever, a lot of people just say, oh, bangles, bangles, bangles. That's just an old cheap bangle. Look at the bangles. There are so many out there. I, found, I have found so many, the silver ones that I think, oh, that's just an old cheap bangle from wherever. And my husband got to look in, and some of them are 925. Actually, I found this one in one of my very first Goodwill jewelry jars that I bought three or four years ago. And this is 14 karat gold. 
but for some reason today, it's wanting to come unloose, and I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to have to get my husband to look at it, but anyway, here is my first item. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, what do we have next? We got to get going because we got a box of purses to open. Next, we have this. This is probably a necklace. I believe I purchased a couple of necklaces. Oh, oh yes. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I love. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at the sparkle. QVC needs to hire me. What do y'all think? <laughs> this is amazing. Amazing. Oh, it's it's like a wine color. It's a blue. It's a cream color. It's got these um, like smoky gray. Oh my goodness. And then you got your gold chunky chain and your senorita class. Y'all, this is, there's the J. Crew. This is beautiful. I can't wait to wear this. And y'all, I don't, I don't, I wear my stuff. I don't say, oh, I don't, I'll never have anywhere to wear that. You do. You have, go to Walmart, go to the grocery store, walk to your mailbox, put the bling on. It makes you feel better. And that's my little preach for the day. <laughs> But now I don't have any jewelry on because I took it off what I was selling. Well, I have I have my bracelet. Okay. Oh, oh, we have another necklace. We have another necklace. I'm sorry, y'all. These are not for sale. These I'm just showing with you, sharing with you. Look at this blue. This is like midnight blue. And you have these faceted stones and then these little these little parties going on down here. These look like little, boom, you know, like firecrackers or something. Oh my gosh, I love it. You got your gold chunky chain. I know I need to hurry up. I need to hurry up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this, I don't remember what this is. <gasps> Brighton, you didn't. Oh my gosh. Gosh, now I did not order this. This is a gift. This is a gift, and they're going on. Look what he sent me, y'all. I love flamingos. That's where I got my sassy mingo. Um, that's my, um, my YouTube handle name, sassy mingo. That's my YouTube handle. Um, just a little, oh my gosh, Brighton, I didn't have these. And I have so many flamingo earrings, but I don't have these. Oh my gosh, I love them. And I will wear them to the mailbox. <laughs> Actually, the mail's already come today. That's how I got this package. But look, y'all. Oh, they're by Sh Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar, which I believe is Target's line of Bobble Bar. So if you're looking for them, they're probably not in the store anymore, but you know, you can always find them secondhand. Poshmark, eBay, oh my gosh, they're not heavy. <gasps> I love them. I I just I just love my YouTube friends. I'm telling you. I, I just consider each and every one of y'all my friend, whether you like me or not. This is the this is the big kahuna. This is this is what came out of here. This is what I saw. And I had well, he's he was he did a video and at the end he said he had a he had a few J Crew pieces and so when I saw that I was like oh my gosh and he showed this and I I I I just I I was gonna cry if I didn't get it because I have seen this necklace go for so much money and he offered it at such a great price and he does the same thing he offers his subscribers these I don't know if my my light is showing the beautiness of this, but these are AB rhinestones. And right here, it just looks like a rainbow of colors. I know it's not showing on there. Y'all look at this necklace. Oh, I love it. That is what I ordered. So I ordered, I purchased that from him. I emailed him right away and he said, I got it. 
And then he, he sent me and he said, before I ship that, I just want to let you know in the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing another J. Crew haul. If you want me to hold off. And I said, yeah, hold off. And then that's where I acquired the other, the bracelet and the two necklaces. Thank you, Brighton. I will leave his, um, I'll put a, um, I'll put his YouTube down below or above or wherever. Y'all are going to be seeing these in some videos coming up. Or if you follow me on Instagram for my airing of the day, my airing of the day. Oh, 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 oh. all right. Let's get into some purses. Okay. This box is heavy. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't want y'all to see my address, which this came from Birmingham, Alabama, which I believe that's where America's thrift, they all come from. I'm not, I'm not a sure. But anyway, if you're not familiar, America's Thrift Supply is an online thrift store reseller. Um, you can, you can order individual items. You can order box of items. They, um, the boxes become available on Friday. Um, this is the mystery name band, mystery name brand handbag box. That's a lot. Um, brand name per supply. Five, I'm guaranteed five pieces. It was 50, it was $51 and it was $51 because I had a discount code. And if you want a discount code, just send me a message and I will give you that discount code. It's not mine, but it's another YouTuber on here and she shares it all the time and I use it every time. It works every time and I get um, I get 15% off. It's either 10 or 15% off. But if you've never ordered on there before and you go to their website and you sign in with your email, you automatically get a first time um. I think I'm going to sneeze. Discount. So just remember that. Um, shipping is $9.99. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Excuse me. Um, so it was $51 and $9.99 shipping. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm seeing color and y'all know I love color. Sometimes you get these boxes. I'm going to have to put this down because it's heavy. Sometimes you get these boxes in, um, there's got to be more than five purses in here. They're just all black and brown and tan. I like color. Again, I will be showing these bags and um, I will be selling them. So, um, because I made a promise to myself and to my subscribers that from, I started in October, the 1st of October, that I will not keep anything that I open up, except, you know, like this stuff. I purchased this for myself, but some people had said, you know, I like watching your channel. However, you keep all the good stuff. You don't leave any good stuff for us to buy. So, because I do not need another pocketbook, I really don't need another thing in my life, <laughs> except a vote on Fab Over 40. <laughs> um, I'm going to I have made a commitment to you and myself that I'm not going to keep anything until the end of the year. So, you're going to get some good deals, y'all. Y'all, we have a brand new, brand new Matilda Jane nylon tote bag. Brand new with the tag. The tag does not have a price tag on it, but Matilda Jane clothing. If you're not familiar with Matilda Jane, they do a lot of like floral, patchwork, country, cottage core. They do mother-daughter outfits. Um, they have a big following. Usually anything Matilda Jane that I put up for sale in my Poshmark closet doesn't last very long. Resale's not real high on it, but it does sell. And, and you know, it's just like anything else. There's certain patterns and certain styles that people are, that are sought after. Oh, this is brand new. It is vinyl. It zips. On the inside, you have a zipper pocket and you have slips. Just checking everything out. You, know, you still got your little um, little packet in there to keep everything dry. Um, on the front, you have a pocket and on the back, you have a pocket. This, this is a great whatever bag. This is a great travel bag. This is a great overnight bag. I got twisted, tangled up here somehow. Okay. 
So for Matilda Jane, I'm gonna say $20. $20 for Matilda Jane, um, brand new tote bag, Matilda Jane. Every time I hear Matilda, I don't know, my kids, um, that Matilda movie was really popular when my daughter was coming up and oh, we loved that movie. We watched it all the time. I love, 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 love that movie. Um, so anyway, new with the tags, Matilda Jane, 20 bucks. We're starting out good, America's Thrift Supply. Our second bag is a Charmin' Charlie, which is not so great. <laughs> I guess they consider this name brand because it's got a name on it. Um, the zipper is broken on the inside. Now let's see this zipper. I like to zip it up and give it some shape before I show y'all. Oh yeah, this bag, well, this bag's got some issues. All right, y'all, so this is a gunmetal gray. We have all these rhinestones on the front except two. And, you know, you could always glue a rhinestone in there. Um, you would have to find one that size, and I'm, I, I don't want to promise it, but we get so much jewelry, and we have a lot of scrap that my husband might be able to, I might be able to find some that fit in here. Um, you know, and you could even put a different color just to differ it up a little bit, like a hot pink or a blue or something. So you have these top handles with this big gold hardware chunky chain. These are your handles. I'm looking at this with y'all. The handles look to be in really good condition. Um, the bottom looks pretty good. Looks then I don't see any sign of wear on the bottom or the corners. This is your side. Your side has this scrunched buckled look. And so does this side. We do have a zipper. The inside is a receipt. <laughs> is this black and white plaid. It's, um, it's, it's been used. Of course, there's, um, there's a little bit of makeup or fingernail polish. This actually comes all the way out, so this is easy to clean. However, since this bag has the issues that it has, which is missing two of the rhinestones, the back has a zipper pocket, but if you can tell, like right around here is some wear on the bag. Um, the zipper pocket on the inside is missing. It's a zipper. This is um, your Charmin' Charlie. I'm gonna offer this for $5, y'all. If anybody wants this for $5, even if my husband can put, if we can find, I'm not promising. I'm not promising. So for $5, you get it as is. If it comes with two um, rhinestones in it, then you're lucky. <laughs> It'd be a surprise. $5 for this. I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time on this bag. Um, this is faux. This is not leather. This is faux. Um, we started off good. Um, then we kind of went down quickly. All right. Our next bag is a Spartina. And if you are not familiar with Spartina, Spartina is made, or I don't, I don't want to say made, but anyway, I'm from South Carolina, if you're new here, and Defusky Island is a small island in South Carolina, and that's where these bags originated from. I don't think they're made there anymore, but it's called Spartina, and it, they do a lot of beachy, um, coastally things. They have clothes, they have jewelry, they have bags. Um, this is like a, this is a cloth bag. It is like, um, I don't, a canvas with this beautiful, beautiful lace detail. You have your Spartina tag, Spartina 449. And you have the zipper pocket in the front. This green tag right here is put on by America's Thrift Supply. I do believe that is their authentic authentication tag. Um, one of these 
bags is really got some dust. Anyway, I hope I don't have... Every time I wear a black shirt after I go back and watch the video, I have like a, a, a hair, a strand of hair like right on the front. So we have a pocket in the back and that is pretty deep. It's these handles I'm worried about because in when I find, usually when I find a Spartina bag in a thrift store, they are so pre-loved that the handles are just eaten up. And I do believe, all right, so these handles, one side you have this, which is faux leather, and then this canvas, and then the back side is this. And I do believe that this it's, it's a little rough under here. It's a little, it's a little rough. However, the rest of the bag so far looks good. The inside just needs a dusting out. Here is your Spartina 449 to Fusky Island. It's natural linen, genuine leather. It says it's genuine leather. Hmm. So this bag is trimmed in genuine leather. I don't, I don't know. I'm no expert. I'm no expert. So we are, we've got some stains on the inside. You see here, you see here, you got your pretty pockets, slip pockets with the same pattern on the outside. So this is a three section bag. You have your middle section that zips. You have this section that has the zipper pocket and also the key holder. You have this section that has your slips. Now it does snap close at the top. It's a snap closure. Yeah, I just don't know these straps. I don't know. What are y'all thinking? This is a good size bag. Um, but something is shedding off of this bag. The bottom. Here's the bottom. You have grommets. This is the side. It is a top handle, shoulder bag, satchel. Um, Y'all, this bag, I, I, I just feel like these. this underneath here is not leather. And that's what I feel like might be flaking away. See, see right there. I'm going to say 25 for this. These bags are worth way more than that, but I can't. And you have to know when you buy this bag that this underneath here, something's going on. If you're a seamstress, maybe I would sew something over that. I don't know. This just, just, just feels gross. So I'm just going to say 25 for this bag. Um, I got to write this down. I said um, $5 for Charm and Charlie. <laughs> Started off good. I don't know, y'all. Um, Spartina, 25. I mean, it's a great bag. It's just those handles. I don't know. Maybe it's just dirty. You'll see, if you buy it, you'll see what I'm talking about on those handles. Next, we have Nanette Lapore. I see this at, um, well, this looks new. This looks brand new, never been used. See the crossbody strap? I'm trying to see if there is a material tag in here because I don't know what this is says fabricated in Cambodia. So this bag is new. She is burnt orange with this gorgeous little silky scarf, which can come off if you're not a fan of the scarf. You have your 
logo here, your name, and it's Nanette Lepore. Probably butchering that. I am from the South. This is your bottom. This is your side. This is your other side. This is a good size bag. It was just crushed in that box. I'm telling you, crushed. Um, you would need to definitely reshape her. She has a huge pocket right here. The middle zips. And then you have the pocket on this side. You have top handles and you have a removable crossbody with, um, you know, with the plastic still on there. So this, this bag, I do not believe, I mean, they could have taken the crossbody strap off and just left it like that. And then when they sent it in or however America's Store Supply gets their items, you know, just dropped it back in there. I don't know. Um, we still have the new little taggy thing right here. Um, I don't think this, this may be leather. I don't know. I'm not familiar. I've seen this name before, but I've never really, I've never purchased one for myself. God, this is a cute bag though. Like, how cute. I am not keeping it. <laughs> I'm not keeping it, y'all. Um, let's say 35 on her. Since she is brand new, she is a gorgeous fall color. Fall, you could even take, you know, take this off and put a, a brown and gold or a brown and cream um, scarf on her. Save this for the spring and summer or wear this now. You know, I'm, I'm for whatever. Um, Nanette Lepore, and I said 35, right? 35 for her, cause she's brand new. So, two out of two, two out of two, this next bag is gorgeous. What is this? This next bag, y'all, I want to keep it. Oh, my heavens. When you say personality, this bag has some personality. Are y'all ready? When I said I like color, look at this bag look at this hobo patchwork not only are we patchwork look at the little skulls oh oh my lanta let me zip this back i see what was wrong maybe why um, they the little zipper pull is gone but you know there are so many things you can buy to hook on that but it still it still has this but there is a pocket on the back, a big deep pocket. Let's give it the phone test. iPhone 13 Pro Max. Oh yeah, I can fit two or three of these in there. Um, this is the back. The back does not have the skull grommets. I'm just making sure. All right, let's look at the bottom together. This is the bottom. The bottom has something, something right there. There's your corner. There's your other corner. Looking good. I dropped my pen. Now, let's see who this is. All right, before we do that, this is your handle, your top handle. It's a little, little teeny weeny bit of frame, but this is leather. I can, t I can tell you, hands down, this is leather. This is a soft, buttery leather. Let's zip it up just to make sure she zips. And this is twisted. This is twisted, twisted, twisted. Here we go. She zips. She has a vinyl zipper that goes all the way across the top. Y'all, this bag. I don't know who this is. I first thought it was fossil, but it's not fossil. What does this say in here? Oh, we have multiple. We have a zipper pocket inside a zipper pocket. What is that? Okay, I can't read the name. The name is Amara, Amara Leather. Hmm, Amara 
leather made in China. I was gonna see if there was a tag that said, no. But y'all, there's no doubt this is leather. This is leather. Got a paper clip. The other day I got two pennies out of a purse. So you never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> That's scary though. The inside is brown, very brown. You have, you have two slips. And then over here, as you can see, you have a zipper and then a zipper inside. You have two zipper pockets like side by side. I don't, I don't understand that. The little zipper pulls feel le are leather. You know, the, um, the top zipper has this suede fringe. We didn't open this. Nope. This has a suede with grommets on it, or studs, not grommets. So this has a double zipper. Y'all, this is a nice bag, a Mara leather. Is that something like Wilson leather? Remember back in the day, I mean, all the malls had a Wilson leather store. You go in there, and I'd like to go in there just to smell the leather, because I like the smell of leather. Some people do not. Um, so this bag has little skulls on it. I wonder if it's missing one right there. I think, I think we might be missing one. I think we're missing, we're missing one right here, y'all. I do believe, see, see right here? Oh, that's just where the leather's creased or something, but we're missing one little skull. To be honest, you're really not going to know because there's so many. Mm. Womp, womp. Um. Oh, it looks like we're missing one way down here, too. So, I'm going to offer her up. Y'all, this is a big, nice leather bag. I would wear it just like it is missing skulls and all because there's so much going on you can't really notice you don't notice um this big hobo bag for my subscribers i'm gonna say 45 45 um i've lost my pen again here it is so amara leather 45. At first, I was going to say like 55 or 60, but then I started seeing things going on. So, uh, I just love the back too. Like, I would carry the back as the front sometimes, you know? Oh, I love her. I love her. Anyway, if you got to have her, 45 plus shipping. And then our last bag, our very last bag. And I've been getting a lot of these in these boxes. Is a Steve Madden. Um, let me see if this is. You know, Steve Madden makes good stuff. This is 100% polyurethane. So it is made to look like a faux leather. It's a large, either a large bag, tote bag. I would say a tote bag because it does not. It does not close, but look on the inside. Look at this um, gorgeous pattern on the inside. Talking about cottage core. So let's look at her together. Here is the front with these two big, deep, deep, deep pockets. You have your Steve Madden logo in gold tone. You have two handles, straps that are in good condition. You just have a, you have a little bit of fraying right here, but I'll, I'll trim that up. This is your bottom. Corners, corners, bottom. This is your side. And this is your side. Um, Y'all, I'm not seeing really any issues. There's one spot right there that will probably wipe, wipe, wipe off. Um, I will give it a little wipe down. 
if you decide to purchase her, um, her, him, whatever. Okay, so on the inside, we do have this little, um, we have a zipper pocket with the zipper pull missing. That seems to be a commonality lately with the zipper pull missing. I mean, the little, little thing is still there. So you just need to hook something on there. You have that. I tell you what, I have something. No, I don't, I don't think it would work. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to give you something free, but I don't think it'll work. If it'll work, I'm going to, I might add something in there that you can hook onto that and I'll have it hooked onto that. Um, if it works, I don't want to say it, but anyway, um, I got it in a fun box and I think that would be perfect, but I don't know. I can't remember what the little hook on it looks like, but anyway, so this Steve Madden tote bag, large tote bag, definitely will fit over your shoulder. It does not close. It's wide open. I guess it could be a good, um, work bag to put your laptop or your tablet or whatever, your work portfolios, your whatever in the front has these two big deep pockets. It is not leather. So we're going to say 30 bucks, 30 bucks for the Steve Madden. All right, y'all, we're going to count back and see if we got five. I think we got six. Um, we're guaranteed five. And America's Thrift Supply is not like ThreadUp. ThreadUp gives you four bags and one accessory. America's Thrift Supply gives you five bags, five mystery bags. So let me know below if you think, what did I pay? 51 and then 9.99. So I paid 50, not 50, 50. I paid $61 for this bag, this box of bags. Do you think it was worth it? Um, this is not my best bag. I mean, I've gotten, this is not my best box. I've gotten box, boxes from America's Thrift Supply with all very nice, very leather bags. Usually I get something I don't know and I, I learn a new, a new brand. And that's one of the reasons why I like getting them so much because I learn, I learn new brands. I need new brands to look out for. Cause then of course I'm going to, you know, after the video, after I've offered it to you for 30 or $40, then I look it up and I see that it's a $500 bag. <laughs> but anyway, um, this time I'm going to say it wasn't the worst. It's definitely not the best. It's mediocre, mediocre. Um, Steve Madden. I usually sell all the Steve Maddens I get. So there is a following for Steve Madden. Um, so I'm going to say $30 for this. And if the little thing that I'm thinking about works, you're going to get a zipper pull. If not, it is what it is, y'all. So that's one. This is the winner. Two. Three. Four. All right, so we got six, five, and six. So we got six bags for $61.99. Do the math. Um, let me know if you think it's worth it. Again, if you saw anything that you wanted to purchase today, just email me. I have one jewelry bag available. Um, the necklace that I had on at the beginning of the show And then the earrings, which I think are a perfect match. Necklace is 15. Earrings, um, earrings are five. And then, of course, the purses. Y'all have a great day. And if you feel it in your heart, go down there and vote for me. Y'all have a great day. And I'll see y'all later on this week. I've got some more boxes coming. Bye, y'all.